Hey everybody! Well, as promised, I said I would start recording some videos about cube drafting. So here we are. Pack one, pick one. Oi! This is actually pretty hard. All right. So we got two Eldrazi's, big colorless creatures. Uh, we could go two routes with the drafting the Eldra drafting a deck around one of these two of either going for a huge mana ramp deck or we could go for a sneak and show so sneak attack show and tell uh, some of the other cards that are in here maybe uh, there is a inst a few instant speed reanimation reanimation spells so you could possibly get a reanimator deck with it but I. I'm not a. F it, it, those decks feel like a little bit too much like a gas glass cannon for me. Uh, again, this is a 720 card cube, which makes it which makes some of the combos a little bit more glass cannon. It's kind of cool if you actually do get to see this stuff, the the combo pieces, and then see these. So moving into the that deck this early is kind of a uh, no to me. Uh, Talking about the multicolor card cards, uh, we've got blue black, which is mostly a control deck, a little bit of a mill deck in the cube. Uh, blue green, which is kind of miracle grow. Also, there's a five color cascade deck in the cube. So like everything that's ever been printed with cascade is in here. Again, I don't want to, I don't want to pick a two color card to start off with. So, Charles agents a no, Fathom feeders a no, Elzrazi ramp decks. Are a no uh, natural unity. This works more with the combo creation pieces in the cube, uh, the token creation pieces in the cube. So there's ways to make pack rat tokens. There's ways to make uh, illusion tokens. So you can actually name the card illusion, which is actually a split card, re illusion reality, and name illusion. And then every time you cat you create illusions, the illusion tokens will have this ability. Pack Rat does the same thing, and there's also a token maker for Landwar Elves. Uh, Landwar Mentor makes Landwar Elf tokens. So those cards all kind of fit in with these type of conspiracies. I do plan to add uh, Prosh, as well as Kither Keep, because those make kobolds of Kither Keep tokens, which also work with these cards. So... You know, if you got the token makers and you have these cards, then you got some gas. But I wouldn't take these early. I'd wait to pick them up later, especially if I see those token creators. Speaking of tokens, we do have an Ibhart uh, Goblin Tactician. You know, basically you can, uh, you know, goblins become blocked. You can sacrifice them. There's a small goblin theme in red that I know in a later update, the, the goblin theme is going to get. I think, yeah, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to flesh out more of that tribe and actually make there be a solid goblin uh, tribal theme into it. Uh, that said, you know, still sacrifice a couple mo mountains, make a bunch of goblins. There's, you know, ways to make your go-wide, aggro-y kind of deck. Uh, Keldon Vandal Vandals, uh, well, we're talking about the red cards. You know, it comes into play, destroy target artifact for two and a red. The Echo Cost kind of gives it a little bit of a drawback. So you're kind of like, you got to spend three. And then if you actually want to beat face with a four one, you got to spend three again. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a hallmark in red for the cube, being able to destroy some of the key artifacts. Uh, but, you know, neither one of these, these two reds spells really like scream to me that I'm going to go aggro. Uh, Wild Mongrel, Mongrel is a uh, is part of the self mill discard you know discard creature like the whole thing would be like okay I got instant speed removal spell I will discard Emrakul to Wild Mongrel put the Emrakul shuffle trigger shuffle shuffle trigger on the stack this instant speed removal spell get Emrakul back so. It's kind of in there for the reanimator, for for the graveyard matter cards, for the dredge cards. Uh, again, it's an enabler. I'd rather pick the enablers up later. 
Uh, Vernon Crescendo Kish is a card that I'm like, it's a trap. And I'm going to do a video about trap cards in draft, uh, especially later on. I mean, it's only really, really good. I mean, you're paying four mana to search your deck for one basic. There's a lot better ramp cards in green in the cube. And if you don't have the, if you're if you're not lucky, you don't get the Nissa Nature's Artisan in the cube draft. Then it's just pay four mana. You know, it's the four mana ramp spell, and only ramps you by one. So it's definitely something to be overlooked. Blue has Force of Will, Ceremonious Protection, Jace Bellerin, and Cloud of Fairies. Blue is so deep in this pack that no matter what you take, uh, of course it'd be between Jace and Force of Will. That no matter what you take, you're sending a signal down the line to the player next to you that you're that you're, you're going to be like, uh, yeah, uh, blue's open. I mean, if you take Jace and leave Force, then they're going to be like, oh yeah, Force is you know, blue's open. I'm going to go into Force. Take the Force. Uh, Cloud of Fairies, Ceremonious Reduction, either one of those cards, you'd be happy coming back to you. Um... And then, what have we haven't talked about? I haven't talked about Hushwing Griff. Uh, this is actually something you kind of, like, bring in to hate on, like, Emrakul, Ulamog. Uh, not Charlotte's Agent, Cassandra's Cascade Trigger would happen beforehand. But yeah, just basically to hate on, like, the Kelden Battles... You know, but then again, white has a lot of key cards. Like, that shuts off your ETB triggers as well as your opponent's ETB triggers. Uh, true, it has flash, so you can kind of keep it up. But I know white has a lot of ETB triggers that you actually want to use. Green Day it does shut down. I mean, it shuts down, like, this whole section right over here of this pack. So whoever gets this has got to strong hate card for the pack. Uh, it does cut white. You know, there's... I mean, blue... Like, red is too deep. Green is one... is four cards deep in this pack. Uh, color... You know, Eldrazi Colorless is like three cards deep in this pack. And you want the green ramp spell, so it's looking more green cards. Blue is just all over the place in this cube. Oh, see, this is like the whole thing where everybody's gonna be like looking at me going, Fen, 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 make a pick. Oh, it's just so hard because I love cutting colors and blue, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. Uh, kind of situation where it's like, if I don't take force and I take, if I take force, somebody. I'm not going to see Jace come back. If I take Jace, I'm not going to see Force come back. But at the same time, like, there's so many picks here in blue that somebody's going to be... I'm not going to... You know, I'm going to... Alright. I have to take it. I have to take the Hush Wing. Simply because... No matter what, some... No matter what, the next couple players, like... If I ship this pack to the person next to me, it's going to be the whole fact that they're going to be so torn about taking these two cards. And if I take the white card and I don't pass any white, I'm going to have a better deck. Because I'm not going to be fighting over blue. I'm not going to be fighting over Eldrazi Ramp, which is what this pack is. This pack is designed to make people fight over it. So... I know some people in the comments down below are probably going to to rip on me about doing this, but I'm taking the hush wing. All right, taking hush wing. All right, so taking a white card. I'm seeing some some good blue here. Uh, black is pretty heavy. I don't want to branch out into a second color just yet. Uh, the the green ramp is a lot about putting extra lands into play. So I'm gonna take land tax. Braggers representative while well, voting. There is a strong vote matters, but now I'm starting to see a lot of black come available. So, and the white card's really not on par. 
Uh, white, red, yeah, it'd be cool to have uh, Rust, but I don't want to move that far yet. I mean, I could play the Godless Shrine. I could not play the Godless Shrine. Godless Shrine. Uh, somebody who's taking those Eldrazi's is going after the Seedless Muse uh, at, or the, and the Explorer. But I'm going to hope because I'm seeing so much black come this way. And these blacks are kind of mediocre. I mean, Grim Tutor's pretty good. But if Grim Tutor comes around to me, like a lot of people are like that lose three life clause is kind of like, I don't really want to lose three life. So I'm going to hope Grim Tutor comes back. I'm going to take Godless Shrine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we're, we're, we are black. We are black, white. Okay. Oh, so, you know, we can take Will of the Council, start to each point votes for artifact creature and enchantment card in your graveyard. Can each card with the most votes, or is tied for the most votes. Uh, might want that to come back. Mirror drone enters the battlefield. If you control another close creature, each point loses two life. We got the Hushwing Grift. So that kind of shuts down these two. Um, Diagraph Duel. Like it, it's kind of subpar. Like it's kind of cool. Lose two life, murder a creature, uh, get some fear action going in there. Murder's cut. We don't have a lot of ways to fuel graveyard just yet. So I'm going to go Shriek Maw. Okay. This is where things kind of come back to bite us in the butt. Um. Uh, can't cast instance or sorcery spells. All of our creatures cost one less. That's kind of tempting. Kind of tempting. Um, I mean, if we didn't take any instance of sorceries, we haven't taken any yet. And we could just be black, white, straight, you know, evasive beatdowns. We take the Elixir immortor Immortality that has some life gain. Because I'm literally looking between these two. And I could take the Hallowed Fountain so I can be able to splash some blue. This blue right here is a trap. Uh, Fluster Storm, it'd be kind of nice for a counter spell, but... Yeah. This is a, this is actually the better counter spell. Because Fluster Storm, there's not really a storm... Like, Storm is hard to pull off in this cube. It's there, but it's hard to pull off. Um, counter deck spell on cast by two. <sighs> Can I really like him? If I knew I was gonna be able to to do it, I would totally play black white beat down. Sure, you know what? You know what? We're gonna try it. Black white beat down. So we're not taking any instants. We're not taking any sorceries. Um. Which does cut off intangible virtue. Are there ways to make black white tokens without? Oh, we don't have to play this. Like, if we can get the token makers. Yeah, we're doing black white tokens. Black white token. Hold the perimeter. Get some big stuff. Tragic Arrogance. Mm, I don't really want Tragic Arrogance because it's bad against the Eldrazi deck. Miracle. Creature would keep us in. Summoning Bond. Whenever you cast a creature with one of the names, you can, right, I can search up and get the other one, put it in your hand. Uh, hold the perimeter. That just gives us a token off the bat, but it also gives our opponents tokens. But those tokens can't block. But Entreat the Angels is such a good miracle. Make a ton of tokens. Alright, if we get the cards for the token... Okay, if, okay black white tokens. We're probably not going to play... We're probably actually going to drop the him. Alright. Oh, oof. yeah. You want more token makers? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, Unalog came back. Shardless Agent came back. Summoner's Rejection came back. Alright, we're just... We're not going to be dumb. We're not going to... Pa whoever took Ulamog is... Whoever took Emrakul is not going to get Ulamog. Um, I'm going to take Caracas because Caracas can actually answer Ulamog. 
um, a lot of the other like regeneration stuff. Uh, we're in black white. There's a lot of really cool cards in black white that let you vote. So I think I'll actually take that. All right, we need. Black white beats. I mean, we could possibly pick up another colorless. I mean, black white beats. Black white beats. Yeah, I want some more drops. All right. So this is, gets better if you got Najani. This is only good if you got the Tefiri. You got the Tefiri. So we passed the two. These are the two worst cards in the pack. We'll take the troll. We're not going to play it. Um, this gets better if you actually are colorless creatures. This is good. Just anything that might is playing red. And yeah, we're not going to pass that red. All right. Oh. Okay. So we got one of the best removal spells in the cube. We got a one of the, you know we got a mox we got a fetch we got another fetch they're both semi inner colors but but we want the elish elish norn here is the pick because if we're going to go wide if we're going to go wide and we're going to do a bunch of tokens we want to be able to shriek our opponent's creatures and we want to beef ours so we're taking elish norn oh oh okay so Skull Clamp would be the pick right off the bat because a lot of small, you know, token making creatures, a lot of sack outlets. Because hopefully we'll, get, but we haven't got a lot of the one one token makers. Oblivion Ring would be kind of cool as our removal spell, but I I really want to stay with our fixing, so I'm going to take the land and prioritize our land. Uh, any of those other cool stuff? Oh, pass an O Ring, get a Council's Judgment, upgrade. Alright, uh, shoot, this ends up being a tough pick, because Abyssin, the angel, you know, enters the battlefield, creature control, get indestructible, and end the turn, she's got flesh, oh. and when a non-angel dies, you transform it, three damage to each other creature and each opponent, but... Got a lot of stuff that's actually in our our heavy end. We need some low end stuff. We need some early early game stuff, which is why I want to take the duress. Uh, I I feel like I want it. I, I want some hand disruption. I want some hand disruption. I mean, uh, okay. So we got Knight of the White Orchid. It's battlefield opponent controls more lands than you. Search land for plants put into onto the battlefield. The shuffle library. Or we got another Devoid little beatdown dude that we can use as a mana sink. We already got land tax. That's first strike. This will come back. This won't. Oh, Harp. Okay, Asian Acquisitions, you can take this and deck the entire booster pack. Yes, I do have the Conspiracy Creatures in here. V Nighthawk, Snuff Out, Sentinel Dispatch. Sentinel Dispatch creates this on 1-1 Colorless Creature. Oh. Now, turn one, we have this. Turn two, drop... Intangible Virtue. Got a 2-2. Two -two. But I think, I think this one's going to be underpicked. Um, snuff out V Nighthawk. Snuff out V Nighthawk. Let's go V Nighthawk. Alright. Flicker Wisp. If we remove another target permit from the game, return that to play out and return. Backup plan. Let us have 
Cool. Opening hands. Moat. Flying creatures can't attack. Do have a bunch of flyers? You know what? I'm going to take them out. If our big payoff at the end of the day is to, you know, cast and trick the angels, or fly over with our flyers, or... Uh, floss, we can kind of, like, vote away our moat. Possibly... All right. Student Warfare is just a great first drop. Uh, don't have a lot of, enough artifacts to make Cranial Plating worth it. We are a heavy creature deck, so we do not want Tabernak. We could take Tabernak to hate draft it. We could take the Surgical Extraction to have it answer to some graveyard shenanigans. Uh, but we... Yeah, we're going to go wise. We don't want to have somebody like Tabernak and then shut down our whole plan. Search ploy. Choose one, two, or three. You may spin mana so it was any color. Choose a chosen number. I mean, we could take this and no. Uh, I want to take the best card out of this pack. There's nothing here we really want. We, I'll take Whisper, Whisper Silk. Might play it. Might not. Um, somebody becomes the monarch. Decimate, blow up a bunch of stuff into the royal. This is like, what do we not want to pass? Oh, we passed a lot of good. We passed over a lot of good blue stuff. So we're not gonna take. We're gonna take into the royal. Uh. Wooded Foothills, Combustion, Junk, 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 might as well cut the Foothills. Junk, Junk, take the Blastoderm. Junk, take the Chronologist. I reforce the soul. Oh. You know, if we had more equipment, we'd be taking the Stoneforge Mystic right now. But we don't. We have a Sun Titan. We take a Sun Titan. Nah, nah. Everything else is kind of mediocre. I mean, if we were in blue, we'd take the Dink. Uh, we're not a Graveyard deck, so we don't want Gregory Thug. Uh, Bazaar and Barrage. We could use it. Give us a card. It would replace itself and draw us a card when it comes into play. Not a lot of our stuff will be able to crew her off the bat. Sun Titan lets us get back stuff that we've... You know, it lets us get back stuff that we've lost... Stuff that's been it's gone away. So let's just chump block a few things. Let's just get stuff back. Yeah, Sun Titan. Sunny tight. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody's got a Goro's Vengeance coming to him. But uh, I've got way too many high. I, I have way too many high drops, or else I'd love to have the, the Archangel. Um, I mean, just what's a life gain stuff. Do I got life gain here? Uh, no, just double strike, additional vote, miracle, hushwind grift, uh, attachment of retreat. Uh, yeah, I only got vampire nighthawk. Uh, I mean. Having two routes that we're going for it. I mean, it's... I'd like to have a sword. Yeah. The Crusaders is the deck... The Crusaders is the deck that I want to have, like... That's the one where it's like, I want to have had some swords. I want to have had to... I would have wanted to pick... Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Because you put a sword... On Crusader and give it like pro and, and have it be protection from all of your opponent's colors because at that point it's got like protection from three to four, mm, yeah, three to four colors. 
because it's got sword of fire and ice and you know it's already got pro red so just like red white blue can't do anything uh body and mo body and mind it's like it can only be blocked by black stuff it basically gives it fear it makes it a four four which is a three turn clock uh but i don't have i mean i got whisper silk cloak and kind of nice to have a five turn clock with a whisper silk cloak braxton crusader but i don't have i don't have enough to actually make that happen um I mean, I could take I take Archangel and hope that Lone Miss Missionary comes back. Because if it comes back, then I can. Yeah, let's take through and let's hope. It ah, I say it, and then there it is. Sword of Fire and Ice. Ah. Same time, I need the removal. Ah. Should have took it. I I didn't take it. I didn't take the Stoneforge Mystic, so I'll take the more reliable. I gotta take the smarter pick. I mean, it's such uh removal, beat downs, removal, beat downs, removal, beat downs, removal, beat downs. Removal. Ah, timely reinforcements. The planar outburst would be nice, but we're really in this kind of like go wide you know, token kind of deck, so want the timely. Oh, somebody is getting past like the world's best freaking like. Ugh. Whoever took that Stoneforge Mystic is getting that pure seal paladin. Alright, so I need to be able to nuke the board. I need a Wrath. I need a Magister of Worth. <sighs> ah, so there's that illusion. For the, uh, for the conspiracy. Creatures, you know, name of creature cards. So somebody's gonna have that in this queue. Sword target can be regenerated. Yeah, it's like an afterlife. Alright. So we got how many vote matters? We got one vote, two vote. Three vote. And that just gives an extra vote. Right, so we got two voting cards. If we had more voting cards, I would probably take the Grudge Keeper. Uh, well, we are going wide with uh, having a bunch of dudes. So... Brutal? Oh. It's just... Okay. So draft to face up. Draft a creature may know its name, then turn. That's not as long as one or more of the creature's name. I mean, I don't want Iona because yeah, I don't want to be. Uh, if I'm casting, a, I'm gonna spend nine mana to win the game. I'm doing that with an Attrick the Angels. It's gonna be like three, three, and three. A little better. Mm. I mean, that relies on us getting another card, and we're really wait late in the pack. Uh, we did get a wrath. If Magister. Well, Fleet Wheel does not. It's four drops. We can't bring it back with Sun Titan. Uh, yeah, I'll take Noble Banner just because it's the lower to the ground. Uh, dude, other artifact creatures control it. Plus one, plus zero. I mean, nah. So, didn't take enough vehicles for this to be worth it. 
I've never really been I never really been a fan of Ivory Mask. It's kinda cool. I mean you can they can pay like four mana and a bluff it's like a four drop and get into play. Uh Nicobolus Deceiver, he's not the best Nicobolus. Apertype for the unnatural. Don't have a lot of stuff. Uh Yeah, uh, just in case we get something stupid and we want to splash red for whatever reason. We'll just take this. Oh, Love Minister. He came back. Okay. We're going to take this and we're going to name it with Noble Banner. Uh, yeah, we don't want anybody having Ratchet Bomb. Oh, that's junk. A little voting. Uh, uh, oh, but it has Defender. Yeah, we'll take it just in case. Oh, make obsolete. We needed that for the sideboard. Uh, turn spell or permanent becomes a clear choice. Start our artifacts. Yeah, we'll just hit the split card because hey look! Blood crib. So we can splash right. So that actually makes our wooded foothills better. Alright, so let's just build the deck here real quick. Let's scroll down. Alright, we're going to play Student of Warfare. We're gonna play Duress, Dire of Ghoul, Land Tax. Oh, missionary, ultimate price, knight of the wire record, intangible virtue, cancels judgment, Argos wrap. We're gonna leave Hushwing Griff as a cyborg card. Take Nighthawk, Timely, Afterlife, Obsolescent, Noble Banner, Brutal Horde Chief. Angel Thune. Moat, I'm still on the fence about. We definitely want Elish Norn. Entreat the Angels. Empty the Pits. Uh, Magister of Worth. Sun Titan. Shriek Maw. Ah. Yeah, I feel comfortable with this. Um... Drop in the scrub, Godless Shrine, Caracas. Now, how cute do I want to get? Because here's the thing. I could make it so my plan is to sideboard in land tax whenever I'm on the draw. Because that way it will always trigger that my opponent is ahead on lands. Or I could hope that every time I'm on... Yeah, no, I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, Alright, so we got our th three sources of white mana and two sources of black mana. So we need to figure out how many cards are black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine black cards. we already got two sources of black. So let's go seven swamps. And then we got one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, minus 3 is 12, but that tax is going to help us out. 
Well, we really can't count on that text, but... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It'll be 12. But I for 14. So what I'm going to do is I think it's gonna be a six and eight split. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a six, six and eight. Is this the best deck that I think I could have drafted in that pool? Yes. I definitely could have gone a different route and gone into blue. Um, there was a lot of really cool blue stuff that was going around. But I think this is where I wanted to be with that with starting off. I got a lot of good white cards here that got passed over. They got passed around. Not a lot of people were in white. It was pretty open. I was always able to make picks until it got down to like the last three packs, the last three cards in the pack. So that's why I like cutting colors. I really like cutting colors that because of that. All right, let's try one more draft for tonight, and I'll have people, you know, down in the comments. What do you think? Uh, all that cool stuff. So, pack one, pick one, you always take the power. I am not going to get anybody putting F in the chat for not taking power. You always take power. All right, so we took power. Uh, and we kind of got a little bit punished for it. Uh, black cards in the pack, mill, uh, well, dredge. Trap, trap. I mean, yes, this Vasca is okay, uh, but it's not as powerful as other pl other planeswalkers. This is only good if you got a Liliana, which I didn't see any. Uh, Through the Breach is part of a combo deck. There's the mill deck, a little bit of control, some green ramp, green artifact hate, the big butt deck. Uh, blue white fixer, green white fixer, but they're not. They come, in, you know, they're, they're tap lands, mediocre. Uh, Sarah Sanctum. I don't have a huge collection of enchantments, so not as good as like a Talarian Academy. If it would have been Talarian Academy. That would have been the pick. But uh, we're gonna go back to tried and true. I mean, casting Hellraiser on three with a Mox Jet. It's a way to win games. Okay. Capital Punishment. You know, we could vote, but that's a high mana card. Uh, I still, like, not a lot of red here. I mean, there's some cre there's red green, but nobody's going to take that. Because blue red artifacts is a thing in the cube. And Central Vision, it's kind of like a little, it's, it's slower. It's not true power, it, it, it's slow power. All right, we're going to take Thopter Engineer. Okay. Okay. Mog Funkies is a horrible red card. Uh, granted, it kind of does work with, you know, a turn three Hell Rider. Uh, Thopter Engineer gives us, you know, a flyer that goes with it. I mean, it is a subpar, subpar but we're not going to be attacking alone. Not going to be attacking alone. Okay, we're going to keep cutting red. All right, keep cutting red. Ah, uh, go to Nahiri for some card advantage. If we splash into blue, into white, ah, uh, stretch version is way too white. Mother mm, runs. Oh, what Nahiri is good. Is she good. Ah, uh, stay white. Take an equipment. I'll take a fragment eyes. Alright. So we're definitely picking. Oh yeah. We'll play Burst Lightning. A little removal spell there. Oh, 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 we are so we are so red white with that one. 
All right. Uh, sheer drop. I mean, Queen Marquez, if we wanted to go five colors, I mean, we got the fixing for it. But... Uh, we haven't gotten lands. And if we take Queen, we're going to have to fix prioritize on lands. She does give us... Sheer drop, though. Sheer drop. You can just destroy that tap creature. It's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. I mean, sheer drop, they're already, they've already tapped. And they've already used their ability. Queen Marchesa, you know, she's got death touch. She's got haste. Catch your opponent with pants down. They got hit. And card advantage? Yeah, we want card advantage. Alright, so it's come back around to us. Uh, no, no, no. No, no. I mean, if it goes that late. Okay, if it goes that late. It goes that late. Um, yeah, if it goes late, it goes late. I want any of these because there's no way we're going to go four color we're not going four color Josh I can hear you yelling at me through the screen we're not going four color I'm just going to take the acidic slime so nobody can hate it take the surgical spies okay Snuff out. Removal. Uh, it's a trap. I'll take it. Alright. Pure Seal Paladin for the double white metal craft. Yeah. We didn't take enough artifacts. Crackfish. Beacon of Unrest. Play it. Neither the white. I mean, we're going to be spread so far around. I don't want to take it. But I do want you. Crown of Fetch was actually a close second. Uh, but if we were a dedicated mono black or only black splashing, I'd take it. But I'll just take the removal. Sneak attack, manic vandal, and jet. Custody squire. Uh, not really. Eh, Magma Jet. Removal, let's a scry. We're going for it. Ah, Arid Mesa. This is my number one. Uh, number two would be Custody Lich. Oh, number two and number three. I'd either take Custody Lich or Business Blast, but we're taking Arid Mesa. I'll be happy to see a bunch of that stuff come back. Uh... Brutal Horde Chief. I mean, it'd be nice to have two. Oh, looks, we can pay this. Bonus control, block the turn, able to choose how they block. If you gain one, like. I think we're brutal. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Best token maker in the whole thing. We're taking the pack rat. I don't care what you said. We took the pack rat. Alright. I've had good luck with Curse Girl before. Uh, it's colorless. It's great mana sync for the late game. Make obsolete. Good one-sided wrath for your, for your opponent. Um, actually, this might come back with scroll rack model. Let's take scroll rack. Um, I think I'm crew double. Uh, beat it against big. Black Sun Zenith. I mean, yeah, if the game gets out of hand, the game gets out of hand. All right, Chronofish. At this point. 
actually think, hang on, where is Queen Marchesa? Human assassin Orc Warrior Vampire Pack Goblin Devil. I mean Cavern Souls is all over the place. We can't really take it. Unless we named Hyomon. And had it in here just to fix for Queen. That's too narrow. We wanted to be tribal. Like the elf deck really wants this in the cube. But we're gonna take the zombie. I'm gonna take the zombie. Uh, yeah, we'll take the lurking and we'll just name Actually wait. Nah, we'll take the wheel. Ah, oh, Cussy Lich came back good. You don't want this. You don't want that. And we'll take Doom Traveler. Taking the Elixir of Immortality. We need life gain. Uh, not really a graveyard deck. We don't want to pass him by Future Leech. We'll take a task early golden back. Oof. 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 So much good! So much good! I actually want Flame Clint to have it. I want a removal. Mm, there's like four cards here. Because I'm looking at Sign of Blood, looking at Kelmar, looking at Lightning Marauder. We're going to end up being Black Red Aggro. So, Trade Board would actually be good. Uh, Murderous Cut, Stagger Shock, Gut Shot, Dijin. Oh, we have so many four drops. We, have, we are so set on four drops. I kind of want to take the High City just to be like... If we could luck out and we could be like, have our opponent actually name all of our color, like have the guy next to us name all the right colors and the guy on the other side of us name the right color, and you know, we're of course going to name the right color. But I really like Stagger Shock because we are going to go upside their face. Speaking of upside their face. Inferno Titan for the late game. Alright. I've got... I'm probably set on removal spells. And I do want to shore this up and actually make it be... Like, we're probably not going to actually play any of these white cards. Like... We're probably not. So, get a creature. Say we're not going to play any white cards and what happens. We get that... Take the fire imp. Take the fire imp. Uh, don't really like that because it causes us to be to actually like put some colorless mana producers in. We don't really have any lands that do that, so cosmic shrieker's kind of out. It's like Oath because it's a removal. Grick's Wake. Not really a fan. Dark Death. Earth's Favor. Spells with the chosen name. Cost one less cast. Uh, we want to be fast. We really don't want to be in there too much. Uh, we're not, like, not going to be able to pull that off. So... Maybe take 
take Brago's favor and we'll name uh I'll take Brago's favor. We're gonna I probably end up naming um Inferno Titan with it. Runescar Demon, Bardal Druid. Oh, this pack is just <laughs> Uh, we do have the Arid Mesa. Would let us play Nahiri and Queen. Nahiri, Sexual Liberty for Iron Fingers, Burn, Battlefield, and Shell. Alright, I'll take the demon. I'll take the demon! Sign of Blood, because it's not just a burn spell, it's also card advantage. A lot of people look at it as being like, oh, this is card advantage. Now, I never know when you got to just, you know, gut shot somebody. Alright, I don't want that. Wait, wait, wait. We have the matching Vraska. We do have the matching Vraska. Uh, yeah, we got the, we got there. We somehow got there. Oh, Seekers of Paradise is gonna name uh, is gonna name Packrat. Uh, don't give him the burn. Yeah, we'll side this in to get somebody that's like going wide. So, all right. So the only white spells we're actually going to play are these two. We're going to play this. We're going to play this. We're probably actually going to make... All right, we're going to play the Inferno Titan. We're going to play the Custody Lich. Hell Rider. Play the Fire Imp. Play Nighthawk. Let's play Sager Shock. Thopter Engineer. We're going to play Sign of Blood. Uh, play Oath of Chandra. So we got two Planeswalkers. We're going to play Dread War. We're going to play Pack Rat. Magma Jet, Spearing Seer. Probably not going to play Mog Funkies. Burst Lightning. We'll play Noble. Carnifish. Oh. Yeah, because I need creature count needs to be higher. Part of me wants to actually find room to put log funkies in. Chair mm -hmm. player, chair player, any target, any target. I mean, we're we're all, it's kind of like actually like a. Pretty brutal control deck. Uh, Erd Mesa. So we got. We need. All planes. I never like playing just one plane, so I like playing two planes. We got two planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight black sources. So we've got one over here. So we've got seven spawn seven. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen reds. Twenty nine is thirty six. Dang. So we have fifteen to play with. Five. And eight reds. That's two, five, eight sets. I'm gonna put the air miss in. Right. Uh, that's pretty much how I play it. That is pretty much how I play it. All right. Yeah. No. That's uh. That's today's vid. Uh. Did some drafting. Uh, if any of you are like, Fen, you're an idiot. You made the wrong move. Uh, comment down below. Uh, if people like this kind of video, I will be making some more. I'm just testing things out, seeing how things are in the water. And, uh, yeah. Uh, be looking forward to a bunch of different stuff that I'm trying out. See if people like. Uh, again, if you want to try testing out my cube yourself if uh you can go to uh you know cube tutor.com slash view cube slash two zero nine zero two to check out fens cube uh if you think i've got some really crappy cards in here that need to be cut uh go ahead uh, down in the comment section below say dude why the hell do you play in this card you should be playing this card instead uh, make some comments. Give me some ideas for some updates. Uh, like I said, I do plan on going back through and updating the cube. The 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 uh, the intro deck planeswalkers and their their tutor cards are definitely stuff that I've got up on the chopping block right now in my head. So I know those are going to be taken out. But there's other stuff that you see in here that's just like, dude, that's a horrible card. You should be playing this card instead. Make the comment down below. And thank you, uh, like I always say, thank you, bless you, may the force be with you. This is Fen saying bye and peace.